Uh, well, Jack, how, how are you fitting in, Jack? Yeah, it's awesome. It's a new experience for me. I've never been in a club like this, but yeah, it's been amazing so far. Had you ever, I'm guessing you probably did for state footy and that sort of stuff, but have you ever spent much time over in WA before? Uh, no, I've never actually. I came over for a game, but yeah, we're here for two days and straight back on the plane. We only got to see footy grounds really, so. And what have you what have you made of it so far? What have you seen? Any any highlights? Um, compared to Melbourne, it's a, a small city, but um, I think it's a lot better. I didn't really like the city back home, so yeah, loving it here so far. Uh, the beaches are much better than the Melbourne beaches, so I'm loving it so far. Yeah. Are you a country boy? Are you? Uh, sort of. Yeah, sort of. I'm, I'm not not country, but not city, so it's a bit in the middle. Okay, yeah. cool. Where, did, where were you from originally? Where, where did you? Uh, a place called Epping, uh, north north Melbourne, like north of Melbourne, yeah. Cool. Um, and well, we don't know a lot about you, but we know that you're quick and explosive and all these terms that, to describe you. Can you tell us about your game and, and you, you like to break lines, obviously, and use that pace? Yeah, I like to play to my strengths, uh, use my use my speed and, and my athletic ability. Um, I think I, I back myself in the air, can take a good mark. Um, yeah, I think I'm a little bit of a goal snake, like to get, get forward and kick a goal. How did you get to be so quick? Is it have you always been the fastest kid, at, you know, at school growing up, or you, did you work on it, or how did you get so fast? Yeah, I've, I've never worked on it. I think it's all natural. But um, I think my dad was pretty quick, so it might be a little bit of genes in there. But yeah, I've I've always been pretty quick, which is awesome. Have you had any races against the boys? No, nah, not yet. Uh, hopefully, the 2K time trial was a bit average, so I might want to get them on the 100 meter track. But. <laughs> Oh yeah, hopefully that'd be nice. I'd love to race him. Do, when you when you are quick though, I suppose it gets talked about a lot. Are you keen to prove that there's much more to you than the, your pace? Yeah, for sure. I think that's yeah, that's really all that's been talked about about me. But um, yeah, I'd love to prove that there's there's a lot more to my game than just the speed. And do you think you'll play forward to start off with, or where do you think you're, you're heading role wise? Yeah, I think if, if I do get a game, I think I will play forward, um, which I think suits me best. What are your goals for next year, for next season? Um, I just want to do well, hopefully play Waffle every game and maybe even break into the AFL for a few games. But yeah, I just want to do well wherever I'm playing. How are you settling in over here? Like you've got host families or have your parents moved over? Or what, what's your living? How are you going over here with that? Yeah, so I started off the first few days living with Luke Shuey, which was awesome. I got to see how a professional athlete really lives for a few days, um, how he eats and just his lifestyle really. And yeah, that was amazing. He was very welcoming and so was his Mrs Danny, which was awesome. Um, then my parents came up, so we moved into a hotel for, for a few days, um, and that was good for, to be with them for a bit. And yeah, now I've settled into my host family, and yeah, they're awesome. I'm with Angela and Duncan Sullivan, and yeah, they've been awesome to me. Can't can't fault them at all. It's a lot to take in in a, in a short period of time for a young guy. I mean, you seem to be handling it pretty well, like all that change. Yeah, I am handling it pretty well. I think it's amazing. It's a dream, dream come true, really. You've been dreaming of this since you were a little kid, um, and yeah, it's finally come true, which is awesome. Yeah, probably living with Luke Shuey, I got to see how professional he is, and it'd be amazing if I can get to that stage and be as professional and maybe hopefully as good as he is one day. So. Do you think you'll eventually maybe move into the midfield, hopefully? Is that what you've got in your mind? Or? Um, maybe an outside midfielder, uh, play on the wing or something. Um, if I get a, a bigger body shape and something like that, maybe I can uh, move into the midfield, but I think outside midfielder if I was to move into the mid. Oh, for sure. Everything they've spoken about since I've been here, it sounds like the opportunities are, are amazing. So, yeah, I can't wait to see what, what the season has in, in store. Uh, they haven't told me much yet, but I think I will need to put on weight and just work on on my kicking and game sense because I'm I'm pretty I'm not fresh to footy. I've been playing all my life, but pretty fresh to this style of footy and and the professional environment. Yeah. What did you think of the stadium the other day? Did you get to go? Yeah, I did. It was, it was amazing. Um, I think we've come in at the right time, all the boys have been saying, and looking at the stadium, well, we definitely have. It was absolutely amazing. The facilities are insane, yeah. And what do you think of the, the new logo? Yeah, it's awesome. It, looks, it, looks, it actually looks real good, so I like it. Good answer. <laughs> did your draft class that you come in, has any of the others really impressed you so far? Did you know many of them very well coming in? Or? Uh, I didn't really know anyone too well. But yeah, they've, they've all been great kids. Good. I've, I've been spending most of my time with them, and yeah, they've all been really amazing. So I'm, I'm loving hanging, hanging out with them. I can't wait for the years to come with them. Who'd you barrack for as a kid, and who are some of your heroes? Uh, I barracked for Carlton as a kid. Um, growing up as a small forward, I used to love Eddie Betts and Jeffy Garlett. 
Um, unfortunately, they both moved on to, to different clubs, but yeah, they're, they're probably still my, my two favourite players in the league.